Hi, Adrian Fry here from Solid Golf, and I just thought it was very timely to talk about this gentleman on screen as Jim Furyk after his 58 tour record yesterday in the Travellers Championship. But it's quite an unusual case because, as we all know, obviously he has a swing that doesn't necessarily conform to what we'd class as a traditional swing or a purist version of the golf swing. But two or three things I really want to remind you of. First of all, if we paraphrase the great legendary coach John Jacobs, one of the things he's said and has stood the test of time is that the purpose of the golf swing is to produce the correct impact. The method employed is of no significance at all as long as it's repetitive. And there's Jim Furyk with $65 million in the bank proving that. If we can get that golf club travelling on the correct path through impact with the face looking in the right direction, club coming down at the correct angle, and hitting the ball centred in the face and repetitively, well, by definition, then, you have a repetitively consistent golf swing. Of course, it doesn't conform, as I say, to the, the purest version of the swing. If we looked at somebody swinging on play and he swings the club up steep, goes off play and the face is closed, he's now got to use his knees and hips to reroute it to get this club back round on the correct path so he's having to recruit help from his body and his body tends to run off a little bit so sometimes it gets advanced of his arms but then he manages to synchronize and get back and deliver this shaft and deliver the golf club on the angle it was intended to be used but what was very interesting with this the round before or the night before and he rarely does it he'd sent images of his swing to his father, a golf pro, and again, there's a great testimony to both of them there that he's not tried to change his swing over the years. He knew he had something that functioned already. They noticed he was a little bit out of sync, and he was um, a little bit long and loose. He firmed the swing up, and then immediately felt his timing was back in, where he got the turn of his body and the swinging of his arms happening more in sync. And everybody who plays golf has to turn the body and swing their arms. And to time that correctly is the challenge for all of us, and that's why top players don't play well all the time, because it's a human endeavour, and it's impossible to actually own that all the time. But you can see here from this swing up, in, back through impact, and bang, delivering it. So, remember, a couple of things as I say, don't be afraid to refine it. Don't be afraid to be different, but also you don't hit it with the backswing. It's the downswing that delivers the blow. Now, of course, that doesn't mean, oh, we'll stand there and make the worst backswing you can make. Because if you do make a pure on-plane backswing, it certainly requires less compensation in the downswing. But if you hit a million golf balls like this, gent, you can learn to do that. So that said, I just now want to show you a couple of examples of what happens just with my own swing, just to prove to you that the delivery is key. Okay, so as I've just alluded to, you don't hit the golf ball with your backswing, but it does go a long way to helping the job make it a little easier. So here on the right, I'm being Jim Furyk, and on the left, I'm being myself, and you can see as I swing back, obviously the swing on the right's gone off plane already, got very steep, where the other one's a bit better, I'd like to think getting to the top but now as I change direction and use my skill and looping mechanism you look at the difference now they're very similar I'm delivering it in a similar fashion through the ball and the exit so one of the skills most professionals have is that they know how to present the club to the golf ball they know how to hit it and even with when their backswing sometimes goes off, they can still do that. And that's born out of many years of practice and understanding what the club needs to do to the ball. So in terms of Jim Furyk and, and Bubba Watson, don't dare to be different as long as you know how to present the implement. So you've got to be able to present that tool and make it do what it wants to do. Remember, the ball doesn't know who's on the end of the club, your age, your sex, your height, your, and so on. It just responds to what you tell it. So, back to Jim. Remember, many congratulations. Fantastic effort. Obviously, he's going to be around for a long time, and I'm sure when he gets on the seniors tour, 
this swing is still going to be working and still putting plenty of money in the bank. I hope that makes sense. Enjoy your golf. Don't be afraid to refine it. And remember the sole purpose of the swing is to produce that correct impact. I hope you found that video useful and helpful. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, give us a like on Facebook. If you'd like to get in touch with me or book a lesson, you can visit me at solidgolf.co.uk and I look forward to helping you playing more solid golf.